Hey guys, it's me Lazarus coming from inside the G35 cockpit. Um, check engine lights on. Right there. And I have uh, 999,490 uh, miles. And uh, I haven't replaced any sensors or anything like that. Um, I did replace the clutch. Um, a year ago uh, that was still on uh, a check engine light but since I replaced the clutch I have put uh, close to 9,000 miles on it uh, 9,800 uh, miles on the new clutch and so the check engine light has, has not been on uh, thus far um, today I did some driving and check engine lights on so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can do uh, put the car in the self diagnostic mode let me turn it off. We'll put the car in self diagnostic mode and the check engine light will start to blink. And what you can do is you can count the blinks. I'll show you how to count the blinks. And then you can find out exactly uh, what is wrong with uh, the car. What, what code is exactly throwing in. That way, I mean, nowadays, uh, AutoZone and a couple other uh, parts places will go ahead and uh, give you a, a free, um, you know, they'll hook it up. You want this now? They will um, hook up the scanner to it and uh, run it for free and print it out and tell you um, what code is throwing and maybe be able to help you out as to uh, what you need to do to get it fixed. But, you know, for all those that uh, don't want to do with that or are a true uh, DIY guy like myself, I'm gonna show you how to put the car into put the car into diagnostic mode. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to make sure your engine is off. Engine is off. Okay. Car's off, and uh, you want to not be touching the gas pedal. The gas pedal is going to be important because we're going to actually be um, pressing the gas pedal uh, in a second. And uh, you want to turn the uh, key on to the ignition position, but don't start the car. And my car is a clutch, so I, I can't start it without pushing in the, uh, the clutch. And so um, don't start the car. Just put it into the ignition and wait three seconds. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to, um, after you do that, press the gas pedal all the way to the floor, then release and do that five times. Okay. So press the gas pedal all the way in. Let it come all the way back out, all the way in, let it come back all the way out. You want to do it five times within five seconds. Okay, so there's a, a bit of uh, timing that um, is going to be taking place here. So first turn the key on to ignition, wait three seconds, uh, do the gas pedal all the way to the floor five times within five seconds. Okay, then you want to wait seven seconds. Okay, press the gas pedal all the way in and hold it for 10 seconds okay and then the uh, check engine light will start to flash and then you release uh, the gas pedal and then you count the codes and it's going to be a four digit code and so you'll have um, uh, blinks it'll be blinking and then it'll pause and so that is the the, the first uh, digit and then after the pause it'll start blinking again that'll be a second and so forth and so on um, write that down and then what happen is is that you may have more than one code you may have uh two codes that's actually triggering the check engine light um after that you'll have a little bit longer pause and then the second code will continue in the same fashion as the first if you only have one code it will just repeat itself so what you do is just start writing the uh the codes down and keep track of them and then once you realize that okay it, it's repeating itself um that was uh the last code or you may only have the one code. I'm looking for my pen let me get my pen ready okay and so uh, just to uh reiterate turn the key on to ignition wait three seconds press the gas pedal all the way down to the floor five times within five seconds okay wait seven seconds then press the gas pedal all the way down to the floor and hold it for 10 seconds. When you hold it for 10 seconds, then your check engine light will start to blink. And then that's when we'll begin to count. All right, so let's get ready. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's too big. See now it's not a blank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Oh, that's an I. One, two, three, four. That's zero, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it's just calling out the one code. The first digit, um, it went up to ten blanks, which is a zero. Okay, and they're slow, and then you could tell that um, the second um, digit in the code were fast blanks, and that was four. So we got zero, four, two. And then the last one's going to be zero again. So that's 0420. Uh, and I know right off the bat from my experience with Nissan, um, really owning Nissans pretty much all my life, that that's going to be a 02 sensor code, okay, which won't really affect uh, driving performance too much. Um, I'm not surprised. Beforehand, it was throwing that same code. Um, I have yet to throw the sensor. I mean, I've yet to, yet to change the sensor out. Um, so I'm not too concerned with that. Um, to me, that's pretty much good news. Um, the only thing that this diagnostic won't tell you is what bank is in, exactly what sensor you need to change out. For that, um, I think you can go to AutoZone or Advanced Auto, and when they hook the diagnostic tool up to it and print it out, it'll tell them exactly what show 2 sensor it is. Because this car is a V6. Uh, two headers, two cats, so it has four sensors on it. Okay, um, and uh, that's basically it. Um, I believe what you can do, if I wanted to, is press and hold the gas pedal in um, all the way to the floor while while it's in diagnostic mode right now for ten seconds, and then it'll clear the code out. So I'll go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn it off. Let's start it up. See. And for right now, we do not have a check engine light. But more likely, it'll come back on because the sensor does need to be replaced. Okay, so. If you're in a state like uh, Georgia, like I am, where we have emissions tests and you can't get your emissions, uh, it won't pass without, um, or with the check engine light on rather. You may be able to try this, depending on how jacked up your sensor is. Um, once the check engine light is on and once it clears, I believe you have to drive about 100 miles um, to clear that out of the system because the emissions uh, scanners can tell uh, when the uh, check engine light was cleared okay and uh, how many miles you've driven uh, since then um, but I mean you could give it a shot if your sensor's not bad you may be able to get away with it but uh, thanks for watching uh, give me a thumbs up if this were uh, if this helped you or if you have any questions or comments please post below thanks a lot